In this lesson, we're going to continue looking at structures of the skull, and we're looking at, through two of the primary apertures or, or uh, holes that we will find that have structures in them. One of them, the eye socket or the eye orbit, and the other one, the nasal aperture or the nose hole. And uh, we'll take a look at these and see what we can see in them. We'll again with the eye orbit, and there are seven bones of the eye orbit, seven bones and one of which we can see here up top making the eye orbit here this is frontal bone the frontal bone making that part also we will see in the back here in this bone is the sphenoid bone now, also you can see this bone here that makes up part of eye orbit. This is zygomatic. Now, others that we can see, you can see it better here, ethmoid bone, uh, lacrimal bone uh, sitting in here, ethmoid, and lacrimal some that we really won't see too well at the back of the eye socket you should see palatine palatine bone well we really don't see it too well there so we're going to look at some other bones that we can see here though and as we continue on inside the eye orbit we can see a structure two of them on the sphenoid bone this one we can see here this is the superior orbital fissure superior orbital fissure where in blue I'm going to show you guys the inferior orbital fissure here now we can see again the superior and the inferior bilaterally let me use blue again on this guy now in purple I'm going to show you guys the optic canal here and a little of it here we can see the optic canal now, continuing on inside there, the eye orbit, that is pretty much all that we can see from this view of the bony eye orbit. And we'll review a little bit of the structures that we can see continuing on. And I'm going to begin with the bones here, the nasal bones. And there are two nasal bones on the bridge of the nose. Now, if we continue on with that, we will find the maxillary bone, maxilla, does make up a tremendous amount of the face, the maxilla. Now, in the maxilla, we do have some structures that we need to see, and we can really only see one very well here. But you can see these, the infra orbital foramen infraorbital foramen now just coming down here a little bit you can see the alveolar margin and process where the teeth lock in there a little bit but not a whole lot um, and if we turn our attention um, I made special note that you could see some of the ethmoid bone in here the most of ethmoid that we can see are as a structure here, and I'm going to draw a line because it, it stops right about here. And this structure coming off here is the perpendicular plate. Now we can see the turbinates or the conchi, and here you have in blue, this one would be the, the middle rather middle nasal conchi and we can see those things there now on its own bone even though it does process off the maxilla you will note your structure sheet count it as its own bone this is the inferior nasal Conky. 
Now, the remainder of things that we can see, very little bit. I want to hit on the frontal bone. Now we can see it slightly up here, this pit inside the frontal bone. And I'm going to color it in in purple in this area here. This is the lacrimal fossa. And primarily that's really all we can see besides the major bones in this picture, in this view of the eye socket. So this concludes my video, one of my videos on the skull, mostly looking at the eye orbit and the nasal, and the nasal cavity. Thank you. Uh, there is one bone, rather, that I have forgotten to discuss. We can see it here, the vomer. So this really does conclude my video on the eye orbit and the nasal aperture. Thank you.